Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives. Uh, still on uh, engineering science and two. Uh, now on working on question eight, that is particle structure of matter. Uh, we have got a question from November 2022 that we are going to quickly revise uh, and see what we're given. Uh, on question 8.1, we are asked to define an ion. Uh, what can we, how can we define this or what is the definition for an ion, okay? Uh, so in this case, uh, we have that uh, an ion is an atom. So that's an atom uh, that is gained, that gained or lost, okay? That gained or lost uh, an electron, okay? An electron, all right? So that's a simpler definition that we can give for an ion and that's just one mark, okay? So 8.2, name three fundamental constituents of an atom and their charge, okay? So remember, we are dealing with an atom here, okay? So we know that the combination of an atom uh, is going to have the protons, uh, the neutron and the electron. Okay, so we've got the proton, where we know that the proton, this one is, uh, they are positively charged, okay? So this is positive, okay? So that's uh, positive in this case. Then we have got uh, the electron and uh, the electron is negative, okay? So that's negatively charged or oh, this is negative, okay? Then uh, we also have the neutron, okay, which is actually neutral or there is no charge, okay? So here there is no charge or we are simply saying is neutral, okay? So this is actually neutral. There is no charge, okay? So that's what we had on question 8.2. 8.3 we are given now to explain why pure water does not conduct electricity. Why is it that pure water does not conduct electricity? Okay, so this is what we have for the pure water. There are actually no charged uh, ions in pure water to conduct electricity. So pure water is a good insulator, okay? So we are saying that uh, 8.3, so pure water, uh, for it not to charge, it's because we do not have uh, uh, charged ions, okay? So that's what you're going to have. So you're going to say here, uh, there are no, there are no charged, all right? There are no charged ions in pure water, all right? So if you are dealing with the pure water, we do not have charged uh, ions to conduct electricity, okay? That's to conduct electricity. So if we do not have these um, uh, charged ions, that means therefore, uh, therefore pure water does not conduct its electricity, which means therefore pure water is a good insulator. Remember, an insulator is something that does not conduct electricity, okay, so it is a good insulator. All right, so that's what we have, uh, or that's what we're supposed to have on 8.3. 8.4, give two practical examples of uh, electro, ele electrolytes uh, used, where electrolytes are used, okay? Two practical examples where electrolytes are used, okay? So where can we apply or where can we have the electrolytes, okay, so that's 8.4. So remember, we can use this in batteries, which is cells, all right? There's so many we can use in electroplating. So we have got uh, electro uh, plating. In this case, uh, we can, uh, it can be used in, in part of corrosion. It can have, uh, we can use this to extract uh, materials from all electro refining processes. So there are so many that we can have uh, that are actual examples where electroplates uh, or electrolytes are used. Okay, so that is uh, that was actually two marks to mark uh, a total of eight marks on particle structure and matter. So that's what we had guys from particle structure of matter from November 2022 question paper from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.